guys. Just a guy here. I just want to do a little bit of a thing. I'll probably watch a little intro. It should be a montage of my mining. Uh, the first time I went out just to some rocks nearby and carried the refinery bot and all that on a lift. And this time I went out, this is only like two rocks, and it completely covered my car. And it actually runs better when it's heavier. Um, I turned up the engine a little too high. But it actually goes up and down hills and stuff, unlike before where it was getting really stuck. Still not perfect. It can get bottomed out. I need all-wheel drive for sure. Maybe six wheels instead of four. But I just thought this was funny. Like, I mean, that's two rocks. So obviously having the refinery is a pretty big thing. I mean, this thing would only hold 25 on the collector if I did it. But I also noticed too by my ref thing is the range on the collector is sh much shorter than I thought it was. I can't seem to park my car. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Barely took off maybe half, not even half of it, and that's full. I mean, obviously, if I had it there when I was mining, it would be fine. But as you can see, I put like two blocks out and then the wheel, and it seems to really prevent it from tipping over side to side. So that solved that issue. Just needs some more weight, but I didn't really have a heavy block. But now that I got all this stone, I'm fine. And as you can see, quite a bit. I already took a stack of metal out to uh, make some stuff. So I got like three and a half stacks of metal before I even refined this. And several stacks of stone. Pretty fast. It was like maybe an hour worth of mining. And still did pretty really good. But uh, I'm just kind of low on component kits. So I'm not sure how much I'm going to do. But I'm going to try to improve this even more. I'm going to let this run a little bit. Clear out the car. Um, I really want more tires. And I'm kind of thinking I might stick with these scrap tires for now. I just want to see how far I can push the scrap tires into being a good car. But we're going to have to replace the scrap wood frame with something heavier. Um, maybe you have some better shocks. As you can see, this weight just kills it. And probably make a trailer that hooks up to it for the refinery and all that so it doesn't tip the whole car over. And maybe something I can detach when I don't need it. Uh, the fuel efficiency was a lot better before all this weight too. But yeah, guys, we'll be right back. Alright, guys, we should have a bunch of resources. Hopefully enough to do it. We're going to be working on... Upgrading the car. It works pretty good right now. I use it to scout around quite a bit. But it can't handle that without falling over. So we need to fix it some. And it still has some issues going up hills unless it's heavy. I find it when it's heavy it does a little better. But we're going to stick with our scrap wheels. Uh, I even got some more over here. It's unfortunate you can't make scrap wheels in the real craft bot. Oops. But first, before we get out, we need a lot of concrete. And unfortunately, that takes a lot of water. And I got sick of running back and forth with four buckets because it takes five per concrete. So what we're going to make is a vacuum pump, which takes uh, tier one metal or tier two metal, right? Yeah, tier two. Uh, honeycombs, circuit boards, and component kits. Not really much of a problem. We have, as you can see, a lot of honeycomb. I kept picking it because I thought it was a rare resource because there's only so few spawns. But uh, not a lot of re things use it. And then I put the second chest over here, mostly because I had all the stone and stuff. And I just made a new chest to put over here. But we're going to use it for the pump right now. So we took a pump to that in the water and it should be able to pump everything out. Uh, we need a switch, but I have some made. If I can actually select the box. Yeah. Got a bunch of bearings. We got our suspension and a controller and all this stuff. I'm not sure if we have enough component kits for everything we want to do, but we'll give it a shot. So, we're going to make like a little trailer for that. Ooh. I swear I made a bunch of concrete. Oops. Yeah, so that has pretty heavy weight. There's some things that are heavier, but they take more resources to build. So, we're going to start off with... Actually, this doesn't need to be heavy. This is the trailer. And everything's finished anyway. Can't believe I messed that all up. Okay, so while this is, we're gone, we're gonna go to blocks and keep making, there we go, concrete. As you can see, it takes chemicals and I have not found, a, I've only gone like in a little circle around. I've not found any, uh, chemical lakes. 
Uh, vacuum pumps. There we go. So, yeah, the chemicals I have are what I found from chests and stuff. Now, I kind of wanted to pump it all the way to my base. But, um, that would require a lot of vacuum tubes. And I, as you, I can't unless you forgot an earlier episode. I uh, keep all my extra seeds and stuff down in the water so the haybots can't destroy it. Oops. All right, there we go. And we just do something. If I can get my chest. And I have joined the toilet seat club, like all pro scrap mechanic players. to try to get to the high things instead of using the lift all the time. Huh. I thought you could have it face down. I guess you have to push the chest down. That's odd. Come on. Stupid floatiness. There we go, and we just put a button on it. And then we need our connect tool because why not? Connect the button. Come on. There we go. And if we turn it on, it'll just make bunches of bunches of water. Uh, there we go. Yeah. All right, so we got some water, we got some, we made some concrete as much as we ran into chemicals anyway. But uh, we're gonna work on the back trailer part. So uh, we're using wood one. It's slightly better than scrap wood. Um, better buoyancy, but I don't know better durability. But we have a lot of it, so why not? Um, so this should be wide enough for this. Oops, I'm gonna go this way. Right, yeah. And then if we extend this. Oh. Probably want this. That way? Yeah. Trying to get it centered. I don't think it can be centered. So one on that side. There we go. I love the wood grain now when you cut it off. Yeah, that's supposedly centered. And let's see, can we get this in there? I think they're, yeah, they're different widths. So I think our best bet's like that. Yeah, that's the best I can get, I think. All right, and if we raise that up a bit, shall come out of block. Two boxes, we don't have the pipes. And then we got our suspensions. Now, do we want these to rotate? That's a question. Does the trailer need rotating wheels? I think it does. If they just freely rotate, will they work? So, and then piston.
Oh wait. I put a bearing up there, yeah. Wait. And this one I don't think gets a bearing. Piston, then one more is in the maker. Okay. This one I think I'll be a little lower to the ground. We're gonna do our double wheels again. I don't know if it helps. They're all on the inside, right? No. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's see what I did last time. Bearings. Block. Block. And last time I think I did two. I think this one won't have as much trouble with tipping, so I'll only put one. And then we get all the wheels. A lot of compression. I don't have enough to upgrade all these, I don't think. There we go. It's it's having issues even with almost nothing on it. Uh, let's see here. Not sure exactly how you do a trailer. Can I get the block? I don't know what I'm trying to do. There we go, maybe. And will I just connect? I gotta be honest, I've never figured out how these would work on this game. So we need to take out our trailer hitch. And then I think that'll work. Maybe. Can I get that? Oops. I always think it's right click. Oh, 
Oh, you can't weld to a bearing. That might be too high now. Yeah. Let's see here. See if this bearing will work. I don't know how these work. I got one going sideways and one going. Oh, it's gotta be on the lift. I think. There we go. I guess I was standing in the way. Well, let's see how this works. Okay, it's right height, more or less. See if we can drive. What am I stuck on? No, it's not cutting. I think these free bearings are causing issues. Dang it. So, let's see here. I thought I would need them to be free so it could rotate in the back, but I guess not. Oops. Okay, let's see if we can actually weld this back on. Uh, hope that's right. Guess it doesn't really matter what side's on what. There we go. Nice well tool, good well tool. Oh, and the water chest is out there still, but whatever. Hmm. It's too heavy to pull. Uh, I guess we might have been at the limit of scrap wheels. Really looking forward to making this work. Maybe I was just stuck on that little ledge. I think it's because I weigh nothing and he weighs so much. Uh, that's unfortunate. Those wheels aren't rolling. They're on bearings. Just like these ones are. Uh, 
I am not sure what's up. Okay, let's get rid of that bearing. Get out of the way. Oh. Starving. It's not very good food, actually. Where'd my well tool? Oh, I put it in the... So, we have an issue. I am curious. Oops. Can it pull the cart without the stuff on there is my question. So let's take off the refined bot. It's kind of weird how it's on the ground. So yeah, it is just a weight to track friction area. How about we upgrade the engine? Kind of a waste, but whatever. It's more fuel efficient at least. And then we'll take the connect tool. And also put it on some of these. Can I have another connection? No, I have to upgrade again. So let's see if that did anything. Oh yeah. I mean, my control is garbage. I can't steer it. So let's... Get off of those. And maybe... Come on. The front wheels, maybe? All right. And then let's try putting the refinery back on. Let's see if we can at least move it. This is the plan, guys. Can we get scrap wheels to continue to work? Come on. I know I see you. I hate being short. There we go. Lift time. All right. Okay, the refinery is just too heavy. And I'm not sure if... Oh, wow, that ate like through five fuel in almost no time. So I can take out the collector, but not the refinery. I am curious. I'm going to look at the thing. Does it tell me which it weighs? So the refinery does not say a weight. But they are super heavy. I don't think just one or two of these is going to be enough, though. Come on. Drop. 
Can I move with two of these on here? It's not ideal. Oops. I hate that. He did so much. Come on. Yeah, I gotta get rid of this berry. I'm I'm not sure how you're supposed to do trailers. But it's not working. Come on. Everything but the bearing. All right. Fill in the holes. Put this back on a lift because we got to, I think. Hey. Come on. All right. Now is that the right height? No. All right, so the wheels without weight are even now. As you can see, I definitely need more weight in the front. All right, so I can drive, theoretically, the two refineries. And is it going? I gotta reconnect those. Try these ones. All right. Oh, oh, I know what the other problem. I forgot about that. The wheels facing the wrong way. Oh, that was probably my issue. Well, once I put the engine on there anyway. And should I also put some of those over there? All right, yeah, we're moving now. I mean, the turning is atrocious. Let's see. Can we do the refine bot now? And let's try to get it closer to the front. Or maybe not. Ah. There we go. Can we move? It's barely. I wouldn't trust it on a hill. But I could get it to the work site. Alright. We're going to upgrade this again. Oops. Oh, I could use controller based wheels. That's a thing. Maybe to get some extra power. Uh, controller. I was going to have uh, the controller used to make my p drill bit arm swing around. But. Maybe. This will be better. Okay. Controller. Let's put this right here. Hey, I, I put it down. There we go. So, let's see. That wheel. Oh, yeah. How many times can I upgrade this? Zero. All my kits are in here. Ah, 
I have three whole kits. Four total. And I'm going to waste it on something that might not work. All right, two whole connections. Oops. Wrong tool. So... Not sure why that one's... Like this one's on the top and that one's on the side. Weird. All right. So we're going to do the controller thingy where it spins. Loop. Maximum. And we have extra connections on this controller too. We have one extra connection. I'm not sure if having one wheel spin is a good idea. So we will take a button or a switch. This will be our turbo boost. Put it on here, I guess. And so. And then kitchen eye chair, take it. No. Maximum connections. Two steering and a button, and that's max. Upgrade. Oh, I can't upgrade a scrap seat. I need... Okay, we're going to turn off our... Uh... Our drill for now. Just see if this works. Then we got to find cotton somehow. Okay, so number one. Pretty good. Let's add. I would say that helps. I mean. I think the other issue is I don't have enough gas connections to have the outer wheels working too. Which does help a lot. I don't think I'm going to be doing no wheelies at least. All right. Oh man, poor road. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but the scrambles just get really bad when it gets heavy. I mean, their friction is not too bad. Let's see if we can even get it anywhere. I'm slowly moving on just the controller power. That's funny. Actually, what we're gonna do is take that off. Try the outer wheels. So wheels go on the bus, go. Blue, hopefully that's right. All right. Ah, so the outer wheels really don't Oh, I double bearing this one. Okay, that's my problem. That should just been the wheel straight on the wood.
There we go. Such as it is anyway. Oh, and I really messed this up. This one has no bearing at all. Wow. I put two on one side and none on the other. Oops. Come on. Where is it? Where happened to that block? That is very, very odd. I don't remember delete. Oh, the thing is just glitched. There we go. So blue goes the same way, hopefully. I don't know which way is looping or not. Looping. Oops. Starved that soon. Okay, that's going the wrong way. All right, it's actually moving it on its own now that it's working on both wheels. So we turn that off. Oh, wow. That one dragging wheel is slowing me down. I mean, look how much I'm moving now. I have a turning race of an albatross, though, but... Yeah, my turning wheels being on the front where there's no weight is not good. But I'm not even using the turbo boost. Turbo boost, go! Eh. It's not seem like it's a, much of an improvement, but watch. No hands, Ma. So if I actually had enough controllers to put them all on my wheels, I could possibly get this tug to run. This is such a garbage guy. Uh, I can't turn. My turning radius is glacius. Well guys, I drove it around. I'll probably try to set some of that as a time lapse, but uh it moves, it's just really poor. I have no control because all the weight's in the back, so nothing's on the steering. And the fuel is like crazy, but it can move. The controller seems to help, but gives a nice, steady, constant push. Oh, it's on a lift. Can't get out. There we go. It has an emergency backup out of fuel thing. See, I don't know if this is like once in a while when I get in the car after I get put on a lift, the tires all go backwards. Like, watch, I won't, I won't touch anything. All my wheels are going full throttle backwards. And the only way I figured out to fix this was to, uh, maybe not that, take off the like connections to the engine in the back. It's very weird. I don't know what is that really weird glitch. All right. See, look. At if I don't touch it, it wants to go backwards. Anyways. We're moving. But yeah, 
right, guys, I'm going to call this an episode. Apparently, yes, you can't carry something as heavy as a refinery bot on scrap wheels, unfortunately. I'll catch you guys later. Just guys signing off. Bye.